Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Amazon home decor shop with me. Now, I know that I've been doing a lot of shop with me's, but I feel like it's a really fun way to show you guys not only the items that I buy, but also the items that have caught my eye or that I'm also putting in my car or that I really like, but I can't buy everything. However, I can share everything. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you some new items that I found on Amazon, some that are in my car, some that just I'm looking at, some that I think you might like. Don't worry, I will absolutely do another Amazon haul here shortly after I place this order. And I've been starting to get some items in. In fact, I'll share I'll share one with you because I've already shared it over on Instagram. By the way, go follow over there if you want even more styling and in real time updates and unboxings, things like that. But I shared these easels, these metal easels, and I think I shared these in a shop with me maybe. I've shared them a ton in different collages. They are are so good. I am stoked about these. Now, this one back here has been sold out. It's Amazon. It might be available on, on a different website. <laughs> so if it is, I will link that down below. But this one I got off Amazon, but I got these two and I love these. First of all, they come in a set of two. So you get a kind of a little bit bigger one and then you get a smaller one. I love that this one has like this little shelf because you can put a book in here. I had my cookbook in here last night. You could put a decor book on here, put it on a console table as a way to show an item or show your book or, you know, display your, your home decor book. But then the smaller one, I think, the smaller one I think is a really great option for artwork. So I have it here on my desk with another one of my little gold framed oil paintings. And I just put it right here and I love it. And it's such a good price. I was so surprised when I got them because they were such a good price. I say this all the time, having collections I think is such a good thing. I have another easel, I have another one out in my decor closet, I have a, the, a collection kind of going, but they add s more interest to a space, having collections and different, they're the same, but they're not the same is what I'm trying to say. So this one kind of leans, this one stands straight, this one has, you know, the three prong, the, you just need, you need all the options. But that is a recent Amazon home decor purchase that I made that you will see in an upcoming Amazon home decor haul. But also I did share it over on Instagram already, so I, ha I had to share it in this video, but I found some great stuff. I always find great stuff on Amazon. Amazon is one of my favorites to shop at because you can be very specific and find items that you're looking for. And I love that. I love to mix high and low in my home. I love to mix new and old. So Amazon has really been a great resource for me when it comes to home decor. But let's get into it. Let's see what I'm looking at, what I'm thinking about buying. And oh, in my last Amazon uh, shop with me, I mentioned a mirror for the coffee bar back here. I bought it and it's on its way and I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait to get that in and see how it goes because if it doesn't work out there, I love it so much that I will use it in another area of our apartment and future home. Um, but anyway, okay, so in my Amazon cart, and I mentioned this glassware, I think in the last shop with me, and it's a, it's a, it was just like a stemless wine glass that was in the shape of a flower, or like, you know, it has like the scalloped edges, and I mentioned that it was super hard to find it in the clear. I also saw that it came in a stemmed version, but it was like a longer cup portion. Then I found these coops. These coops are absolutely darling. I love these. And I thought about getting them for Valentine's. Maybe I should, they say they'll come tomorrow. I might buy these for Valentine's Day. These are absolutely adorable. I also think that these would be really cute for spring and summer. I love these, they are so pretty. I love that they come in the clear because I'm not really into the different colored glass. I, I just like a clear glass, super timeless. And I just, I thought that these were absolutely darling. So these are in my cart right now. And I think I'm gonna, I actually do think I'm gonna get those because I think they'd be super cute for Valentine's Day and for spring and for summer. 
very cute. Next in my cart, I have two different kinds of glass garlands. I saw these at Home Goods when I did my Home Goods shop with me, and I just loved them. And I have seen these before, like at Pottery Barn and places like that. But I don't know for some reason these ones just stood out to me. So I have a pair of, or I have a frosted glass garland in here and then a clear glass garland. I can't decide between the two. I kind of lean a little bit more towards the frosted, but I'm not sure. But I love these for putting in a bowl, either on a coffee table, even bookshelf styling, having them kind of you know, draping off of a stack of books or in a bowl, kind of coming out on an open shelf or bookshelf. I think that these are a way to kind of fill the space. But what I love about these being glass and what I love decorating with glass is it puts an object there, but it kind of almost puts it there very, like it doesn't take away from the overall vibe. It's almost like subtle, if that makes sense. So I just think that these are adorable. Like I said, I can't decide, but between the frosted or the glass. But now looking at my coffee table with the alabaster coasters, I feel like the frosted would be would be really complimentary to what I have going on over there. I can't decide. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I gave you a little sneak peek to my little coffee bar. And I do think I'm gonna need to get something to raise. Actually, this is one of you, actually a couple of you suggested this, but lift up the espresso machine to help cover the outlet. So I found this black marble, just very sleek, very, what am I, sophisticated. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Just a little riser, it comes in a black marble and a white marble. And I love this. I think that this is so beautiful. I also think that this would be super pretty on just your countertops in your kitchen for any sort of thing. But I like that you can put stuff underneath. So maybe I could put, you know, something under there. Like, I don't know about my um, pods, the espresso pods, but something under there. I like that idea. Or you could just keep it simple how it is. I definitely think I'm going to go with the black, but I love the white marble as well. It's so pretty. I love this. And then I also I also found this cake stand, which, okay, I found two cake stands. <laughs> One is a little bit more of like a traditional style. I think it's from Sir La Top, but it is so beautiful. It gives me old world vibes. And then the other one is the complete opposite. The other one is a bit more of a modern take and I love it. It's like sculptural, but interesting, but a cake stand. I don't know, it's almost like art in a way. And, and, just like in a very, um, what, what's the word? Oh, I'm blanking, like a fast forward way, a, a futuristic way. I love this one. It is so pretty. Let me know which cake stand I should get as well because I can't decide, but I kind of lean a little bit more towards the sculptural, kind of more modern one. Just because I have so much vintage and antique, I do think it's really good to mix in, you know, modern pieces and, and pieces that have a little bit more of a modern shape shape. Love this. Love this. Love this. Love this so much. Well, I think, I, or do I get both? I don't know. <laughs> also in my car, I found these opera glasses or opera binoculars. I found these on Etsy. They're actually saved in my Etsy cart. And as I was looking through Amazon, I noticed these and I was like, wait, those are the one, same ones from Etsy, but not only, so those are a little bit more like old world vibe to me, but I also found some other really chic ones. So I found these ones with a brass metal detailing, but the black and white stripe, I thought that these were so sophisticated. Put these on a stack of books, on a coffee table or a side table. I just love these. I thought that these were j j stunning, absolutely stunning. So, and I don't really have anything in my home like this. And I think it's good to add pieces like this. I love these. Maybe I go with the black and white because that would really add some sophistication in here over. Yeah. I think the black and white is what I'm thinking. Okay. What else do I have in my cart? I found this really beautiful glass vase. And what I really loved about this is it having the handles and the fluted detailing, but also in a very traditional kind of just, I guess, uh, predictable shape, but it is like nothing I've seen. And I don't know. I really like this one. 
it's in my cart. <laughs> Everything's in my cart. But I just thought that this was just a little bit of a different take and I really, really love this one. I don't know, just a little bit different and I've been trying to find different pieces and I mentioned this in my recent thrift with me. I'm really trying to kind of add more to my inventory at home, especially because I'm wanting to do more styling here on the channel, but also over on Instagram. And I really noticed that having a little bit of an inventory is is super helpful because you need different things to rotate through and I want to be able to shop my home and have pieces that I could fall back on. I don't know. I think that this would be a like a home decor staple that would be really, really smart to bring into, into my home. I'm really wanting to get going on my bedroom makeover and I was watching a Homeworthy video where they had task lighting and lamp lighting on either side of their bedside tables and it just made so much sense to me because depending on how you have your or how where you put your lamps i do like my lamp further away from the bed because then it gives me all that surface to put my phone my book glasses my water whatever but it's super annoying to like get up and turn off the lamp i never thought of this and i actually think this is brilliant but in this homeworthy episode they had wall sconces that were like task lighting so if you want to read or you turn off your lamp the night but then turn on your task light. I was like hello why didn't I think of that now this is a floor light but I do also have some task light in my lighting section on my Amazon storefront but I also saw a picture of a task light like a floor lamp task light by the bed as well. So I'll put that picture on the screen. So I can't quite decide whether I should go with like a sconce or the light. Now I know I couldn't do the floor lamp in front of one of the bedside tables because we have drawers and I don't wanna move the light to get in the drawers. However, the other side, I'm putting a blanket chest that opens from the top. Well, it does have a drawer at the bottom, shoot. Okay. We'll have to think about this. Regardless, I still think that this is such a pretty floor lamp and it's a really good price, not only for what I was just talking about, but also in a living room or next to a chair, whether you have it in your bedroom, anywhere. These are so great. I love a good task light. I just think that they add a layer to a home that just feels decorated. It feels purposeful, functional, and I like this one. I haven't purchased new taper candle holders in a long time. These ones caught my attention. Again, they have a little bit more of a sculptural feel to them. I love iron. I love adding in that texture to my space. It feels very hearty. And I don't know, these just caught my eye. So I put them in my car and I'm thinking about them. I just felt like these were just different. Another vase that I have in my car is this, it's like white glaze on the top. And then it looks like it's like a raw, maybe terracotta on the bottom. I love the different textures being, you know, raw and matte at the bottom and then glaze up at the top. And I don't have a ton of white vases. I have a couple small ones. I do have one from Pottery Barn that I love. Two from Pottery Barn. One, it kind of looks like an onion. <laughs> Not an onion, a, a garlic. Uh, Zach always tells me it reminds him of garlic. But this one I thought was very sophisticated. Again, I'm gonna use that word a lot because it's kind of like what I'm going for these days. I just thought it was really beautiful and just like such a good piece to, to add to my home. I have been wanting a long skinny little bench for so long. <laughs> I just want one. I love them. I think that it's like one of those pieces in your home that you probably don't use as far as like sitting on, but putting, you know, a candle or a couple decorative pieces or a throw blanket. Absolutely. But as far as sitting on it, probably not. So I have yet to purchase one, but I found one on Amazon and I really, I don't know. I really want it. I think that they are so cute behind a couch or even in an entry or just in spaces that need something, but like you can't put a whole piece of furniture there. I love them for reasons like that. So this one's in my car. I'm not sure. I, it's a splurge. So I'm thinking about that one. <laughs> Lately, I've had such a thing for baskets. I kind of go through these different phases where when I'm purchasing something, it's almost like that's all I can think about. And that's all I end up looking for and finding. And right now it's lamps and baskets. I found this basket. This one's actually been in my storefront for a really, really long time, but this one I love. I think that this is such a beautiful basket. 
just to add to any space, whether that's in your living room and you wanna put like your books in here, or magazines or throw blankets. It's just such a beautiful piece and it just, it looks so old world to me. So it's in my cart. I don't know if this Match Striker is still in stock, but I finally got my hands on this Match Striker. This has been going around. I know that a ton of influencers have been sharing it, and it kind of deterred me from purchasing it because I, you know, everyone had it, and I, I'm not like, oh, everyone has it, I don't want it. If I want it, I want it. But something about it, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready, I think I want it, and I think it's me, again, building up that collection of decor pieces to swap out. I have a few different match strikers. I also bought those match striking stickers that I've just been putting on the bottom of the candles. Thank you, Zach, for that idea. <laughs> he came up with that idea, and I was like, you are so brilliant, because I was putting them on the bottom of just other little containers or pieces that I wanted to use as match strikers, and he's like, why don't you just put it at the bottom of a, of a candle? And I was like, you're so smart. <laughs> Anyway, so I got the match striker. Again, I think it's because I want to be able to have inventory to swap through. I also found this candelabra on Amazon. And what I love about this, okay, I had an old world candelabra and I loved it, but it was just a little too dramatic. It was like almost like too much. So when I saw this one, I thought, wow, that is so beautiful. And I love that it's iron and it feels old, but it's not like too gaudy, I guess is what I'm looking for. For. So I've been thinking about this one. I thought this would be really pretty to add bows to and add like that feminine touch because it is quite hearty and masculine. And I just think that this would be so beautiful on a tablescape or really just even on like a side table down a hall, a console table. It's so versatile. I also found these beautiful African wooden milk bowls. And I have been eyeing these for a long time. I have quite a few of these in my or in my like favorites on Etsy. These are absolutely stunning. Dunning. And I just need to, I just need to do it. I just need to get it. They're quite the investment, but you will have these forever. I would use them as a fruit bowl. I would use them on an open shelf or bookshelf, coffee table if you have one big enough. Really, you could put these anywhere and they are absolutely stunning. Oh, I also found this other bowl. I think it's a really good price. It's a mango wood bowl. It's more of a decorative bowl. Actually, I think it is food safe. Let me double check here. Let me look. But I love this. It has like the handles really beautiful for decor. Um, for some reason, I felt like I saw that this was food safe, but I don't see that it is anyway. Regardless, it's beautiful for just your coffee table, bookshelf styling, anywhere. A console as a catch-all, it's gorgeous. Oh, also I found these, oh, guys, I forgot. I found all, so much good stuff. I found these mango wood cheese boards, charcuterie serving boards. These have like that old world cut to them and these are hard to find. So I was super excited about these. I remember sharing these right away over in the community tab on a collage and over on Instagram because I was so excited about them. They come in a dark, a, an espresso color and then they also come in like a light wood color. So, so good and a really good price. There is so much to share. I feel like I'm like, <laughs> like there's so much to share. Those mango wood charcuterie boards also come in a different shape as well. I'm less excited about this shape, but it still is really beautiful, very unique. It adds some interest and just a little bit of a different vibe to your space. So I will also include those because I know there's someone out there that's gonna love this shape probably even more than the other one, but such good boards. Oh my gosh. I did also find this stainless steel cake stand that have like these little feet and you know how I feel about little feet. I love them. I thought this would not only be beautiful for a cake stand, but also for perfumes or even use as like a mini bar. You could put like a couple whiskey, double glasses, a bottle of whiskey, you know, that sort of thing on there. So pretty. I loved this. Oh, okay. Also I found a couple marble rolling pins. So I have just like a, like I need a, I want to replace my rolling pin. I think we got it at Winco or something. Super, it's fine, it does the job, I love it, but it's not like making me that excited. So I found 
two marble rolling pins. One of them is a little bit more sleek and modern, and then the other one is a little bit more, it has a little bit more going for it. It has like a little handle space, but it's still solid marble. I can't decide between the two. I love them both so much. I don't know, I kinda lean a little bit more towards the sleek one because I feel like it would just be super easy to use. You're not gonna have like the, um, maybe I need both. <laughs> maybe I need both, but super good. If you are looking for a rolling pin, I, these ones look like a good one. I also found, oh, this is the food safe bowl. Okay, I found a super affordable dough bowl on Amazon. I know that dough bowls can be insanely expensive and if you want that look but you're not, you know, not wanting to spend the price, this is such a good option. Such a good price right now. I And it says food safe, so. You can use it for your fruits and your veggies. You can also use this as a catch-all in, you know, an entryway or a coffee table, anything like that. It's super cute. Does seem a little bit small, but still really good price, very beautiful, and such a good option if you want the look for less. Highly recommend that. I have this somewhere. I think it's out in my in a tub out in my decor closet, but this little brass clawfoot dish. I love this to put either like a candle on top, you could put your jewelry, you could put it on a bedside table to like take your jewelry off at night. It's so pretty. I've had this for quite a while and it's a piece that I have never gotten or like purged because I love it so much. I need to bring it back out. So cute. I think it's just a piece, a timeless piece that you'd have forever and super, super beautiful. These marble links are so different. Is this a link? Does it lay flat? It's a sculpture. Okay. I found this marble sculpture. It comes in a beige tone and it comes in black. I think both are absolutely beautiful. And I feel like sometimes the, the things that are missing in my space are some sculptural pieces. I think that they add so much visual interest to a space and kind of bring, bring an artistic vibe to a space. So when I saw this one, I thought, ooh, I like that. It feels very modern, but like not too stuffy. It feels very like elegant. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm like making any sense, but such a good one. Again, it comes in beige and black. Love those. Love them, love them. I like them in, in both too. Can't go wrong. Either one would be absolutely stunning. Oh, another, okay, two more trays that I found. I also found this acrylic table that I think is so beautiful. It adds a little bit of glitz to a space. Love that. I just saw it, so I had to mention it. But I found two other marble cuttering, <laughs> cuttering? Two marble cutting or charcuterie boards that I thought were beautiful. They are in this black marble. That you, I feel like what's nice about marble is you can clean them really good. I know that a lot of people get a little spooked about vintage breadboards, and if that's you, marble is such a good way to go because you can clean them really, really well. So I found one that's a little like short and curvy, and then one that's a little, you know, long and skinny. Both are absolutely beautiful, and I think it's such a great way to present your, your charcuterie boards on. So, I love both of those. Did I share this throw blanket? I may have already shared this throw blanket, but I love this one. I think that the organic kind of vibe to it is so approachable, and I love having these more organic materials in my home. I feel like they just feel so inviting, and I loved this one. It's been in my cart for a while now. I need to think about, like, should I get it? Should, the, should I get it? I love it. It's so pretty. I think it goes really well with like the raw woods and things like that. Stunning. I wanna do a little makeover in our living room, but it's taking me a little bit of time because the items I'm wanting to refresh are a little bit more of an investment, like a rug. So it's it's taken me a minute, but we'll get there. I found this rug on Amazon and I absolutely love it. It's actually been in my Amazon storefront for quite some time, but I kind of feel like it's just so good. It's so good. Right now I have like a white Jew in here with a layered rug on top and it's good, but it's really starting to show the dirt. You know, it's, it, I need, it needs to go. So this one, I love that it's the natural jute tone, hides dirt better, which 
could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. <laughs> but it's also in these like square, I'm gonna put the picture, you'll see the picture, you'll see the, <laughs> I'm like, I'm having a hard time explaining this, but I love that it has a little bit more interest to it than just like a regular jute rug. So I'm really excited about this one and I think it's definitely going to complement our space really well. And I've noticed when I go to really high-end designer boutiques, they use a lot of jute and a lot of rattans and a lot of kind of that like natural material. And I thought, you know what? It just really elevates a space. So it's in my cart. I want to get it. I need to get it. <laughs> but oh, it's sometimes it's hard to like, you know, make the bigger purchases for me anyway. I don't know about you, but for me, sometimes it's a struggle, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. Let's see, I, that might be it. Let me just take one more little look here at my storefront and see. By the way, if you want to shop my Amazon, I, I link, I mean, there is so much on my Amazon storefront and I've talked about this before, so much so that I've had to start a new list that just says curated Amazon home. I need to organize it, but I will link my storefront down below if you wanna see everything. I am constantly, almost, every day adding new items, almost. There is a lot, I think that is all that I will put in this video because I need to save some things for you to go look at and some things for future videos, but I have a lot in my cart right now and I have just found this new found love for decor and just kind of going for it, really trying to put my blinders on and just focusing on us here on my channel. So I just really am trying to stay true to my style and find fun things that you guys might like as well. So I hope that you're enjoying these videos it just allows me to share even more with you. I do also, of course, do my Amazon hauls, but this is like sharing the things that I don't buy that I want to, but I can only buy so much. Anyway, let me know down in the comments which item was your favorite from this video. Also, I wanna say, I have been pushing out so many videos lately. I am really trying to just put out more and, and share so much more with you. And I have, I want to share so much more styling, more shopping, all the things, makeovers, everything. And I've really been trying to really be consistent. And I know that so many of you have noticed because you've mentioned it in videos. And I want to say it's that doing that has been harder to get back to comments. And I want you to know, I read every single comment, every single one of them. It's just a little hard to get back to all of them, but I wanna thank you so much if you are leaving comments, liking the videos, watching the videos. It means the absolute world to me, and I, it just encourages me to keep going and to do more, so thank you so much. Also, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.